August the 22nd, 2019. Guys, you're looking at Worldview, part of NASA's uh, website and uh, imaging, and this is called uh, MODIS. It comes from a different series of MODIS satellites. And uh, a lot of you guys have asked about this, and it's all over the news, and they're talking about the uh, rainforest down in South America burning. And uh, many of the articles um, are talking about that this is the lungs of the world. And that's true, and it's true with uh, not only here, but the other major forest around the planet. And if you look at uh, today's imaging, notice your time stamp where I've got it set. Tremendous amount of smoke in the air. Excuse these black lines. That's part of the satellite cutout. You can very clearly, again, pull this up, and this lighter gray ash is, these are fires. And uh, in the uh, Bolivian capital, guys, we saw where it went from uh, daylight to almost dark. They've always had pollution there in the last uh, few decades, but now, it, it again, it went from uh, daylight to dark when this uh, these clouds of, of smoke cover the city. Amazing images if you haven't seen it. Now, we're looking at, again, what they're calling the lungs of the world, and that means just the photosynthesis process of this much plant life guys creates the oxygen that we breathe now when we see things like this it always makes reminds me of revelation chapter 8 where a third of the trees and grass are burned up and, and but guys we've got large forests all over the planet north uh, north russia siberia through there north american continent african continent there's large forests but uh at what point guys would you say that a third of the planet's trees are in danger i want to back this map out and i'm going to change a couple of features here notice this is worldview it's linked on our website and what i want to do is put on the modus layers for forest fires we'll look at this around the planet you're going to see what we're dealing with here again let me uh, get some of this off of the and so uh, th the red dots are going all the way up uh, into the northern part of South America are forest fires, and you can see that they're heavily concentrated further south where these layers of smoke are. Now, this is the concentration of uh, mainstream media, a lot of social media, rightfully so. And if you move up into North America, you can see across uh, Arizona, California, guys, uh, going up into Canada, and uh, the, you've, got, you've got fires, but these are not major like what we're talking about in the Amazon yet. And if you look further north, the smoke that's coming out of uh, northern Russia has completely circled the upper part of the globe. Let's go over and look at this. Again, uh, you can see as this comes into focus, the red fires, uh, red dots here. You see Russia, and you can see the smoke, and we've seen this from satellites uh, for the last month or so and um, so you've got a lot of ash in the upper atmosphere that's circling the top part of the globe and that's always creates a cooling effect and when, just like the volcanic ash will if you're going into grand solar minimum minimum that can exacerbate the problems and uh, you again you can see that it's not just south america but you've got russia north america look through europe Quite a few fires here but guys the main area of far fires on the planet which is not i don't know why it's not being really talked about that much in mainstream media is south africa and i just want to show you the difference this is south america look at south africa guys and look at the amount of uh, smoke in the air and these are so concentrated notice the time stamp i've got it set for today bottom left check that out August 22nd, many more fires, much more smoke there, and this is very a very large and forested area of our planet. Notice the island of Madagascar and the areas all the way down into South Africa. So if we back this out and look at the planet, you've got uh, fires in Indonesia all through this area in the uh, eastern sides of China along the northern parts and eastern parts of Australia. But this African concentration, guys, again, at what point would we be considering some um, 
a third of the trees in danger. Just think about that. So I've been asked to do this report, but we really need to pay attention. So if someone wanted to try to do the math, you can do it. Uh, but we definitely have fire problems. And again, if you look at the South African continent here, and you can see right here, guys, the storm that I've been kind of keeping an eye on that's coming off of Africa now. But that's a tremendous amount. So you add all of this together. And when you start getting into South America and South Africa, some of this smoke smoke will be, uh, guys, uh, in the southern hemisphere as far as circulation. It's winter time there, and that's gonna we're going to be changing that very quickly as we go into winter here. Summer will start happening in the southern hemisphere but again i just wanted to touch base on this subject that uh, we need to pay attention to this in south america i'm not sure of all the information in south africa it's probably very similar but you've got massive cutting of rainforest and they're burning not just cutting and they're saying to clear land for cattle and agriculture and uh, I guess when you're in, you're dealing with um, countries that are in need of uh, more jobs, more economy, more exports, things like that, then I guess that's what happens. But it has a terrible impact on the planet. But again, guys, uh, you can read Revelation 8 for yourself and uh, read into Revelation 9. But if you look at the entire picture, we have a lot of trouble with the not only the left lung of the planet, but the, you might as well say the right lung too. But just wanted to update you guys on that. Uh, watch for other updates. Uh, we're going to check out the tropics. Everything's still holding at about a 30% chance as far as the Bermuda storm. And you can see that right here again. I've got this set at today's date. Supposed to come into Florida and skirt up the coast. A lot of moisture in the Gulf itself. Again, this storm right here is very large. If it makes it through the Saharan dust, then um, we may have trouble with this one. It definitely is large enough to do it. And you can see in this image, even the uh, smoke will be involved coming up out of uh, South Africa, getting tangled into the inner, uh, the tropical convergence zone and mi uh, mixed into the entire planet so we're going to have a wide dispersal of wood ash think about it same as volcanic ash it will reflect sunlight and exacerbate the winter this winter so uh, we're watching it guys you watch it it's a heads up be safe